I made a clickbait video and it worked. Hi, this is Jake, your resident content cowboy here. Yeehaw. And today I want to talk about a video I made. I made a video with a title that was intentionally clickbaity. Look, I didn't think it was crazy clickbaity, but looking back on it, it was pretty clickbaity. And I want to talk about what happened because of it. First, let me tell you why I made this video. I wanted to see, as a new YouTube channel, by the way, just to give you a little backstory, I've been making YouTube videos, let's see, uh, for maybe gaming videos a month ago. This, my, my oldest one is two months ago, maybe. So I've been making gaming videos for maybe a couple months. And I wanted to see what would happen if I started playing around with the titles. One of the most important things you can do, obviously, is try to get people to watch your videos. But you don't want to be intentionally misleading with it. So what happened was I saw a post on a Discord that I'm on the Jim and them discord and it mentioned that cyberpunk was delayed again you can see my video right here cyberpunk delayed again so I made the title of the video cyberpunk delayed again question mark question mark I know it's like it's got so many clickbaity elements to it this was right before cyberpunk was about to come out I think maybe a week before it was about to come out or so is when I recorded this video so I legitimately saw a post of someone on the internet saying cyberpunk was delayed and that CD Projekt Red had removed one of the release dates from its social media Inside the video, I go on to investigate the claim and find out that, of course, it is not true. Cyberpunk was not delayed. But, hey, now that we're in this reality, wouldn't it have been cool if it was delayed? I know, I know, I know. But it wasn't. It wasn't getting delayed. And to be honest, I didn't think it was getting delayed. After I investigated it pretty quickly, I found that it wasn't getting delayed. However... My title, Cyberpunk Delayed Again, my attempt at clickbait, was the title I went with. Now, the only element of clickbait in this entire video is the title. Quickly in the video, I let you know that going through investigating this claim, it looks like it's not true. I don't try to make a case that Cyberpunk is actually getting delayed. I just make a title and a little graphic here for it, a thumbnail, that hopefully people will click on. And of course the reason is, I'm a small channel. I'm trying to get eyes on my videos. I make, I've, I've been trying to make a lot of videos and you can see from looking at this screen here, some do much better than others. For instance, Cyberpunk Delayed Again got 2,000 videos. Now I have less than 200 subscribers. Again, just starting. Uh, so a video like this, that's a huge pop for this channel. Other videos about things that I'm talking about, Cyberpunk gets a 7 out of 10 from GameStop and people are mad. That's a little clickbaity of a title, but completely true as to what I'm talking about in the video. That one gets 800 views. Basically, you can see that Cyberpunk videos usually do pretty well, but then oftentimes, huh, 42 views right here. So that Cyberpunk video didn't do well. And then other times I want to talk about Auto Chess. Auto Chess, ooh, that one got 500 views. That one got 600 views. And then... Sometimes I talk about auto chess and it gets 40 views. So of course, as a new channel, I'm trying to figure out what people are interested in and I'm trying to find what my voice will be as this channel continues. But this specific video, Cyberpunk Delayed Again, that video is straight up clickbait attempt. And again, it worked. Now what do I mean by it worked? I mean a lot of people watch the video. It's not necessarily the kind of videos I want to make on this channel. I don't want to make a channel where it's things I don't think are true and then I post them. But I did want to see what would happen if I made sort of a clickbaity title. And guess what? It really, really worked. So, moving forward from that, what happened because of it? Now you would think, oh, you made a clickbait video and a bunch of people didn't like it. Well, let's take a look at the video because you'd be right. <laughs> uh, let's see, uh, 112 people disliked it and 31 people liked it. You know what? Let's make it 32. 32 people liked it. <laughs> so yeah, 
a lot of people didn't like the video. But what do I mean when I said it worked? Well, the sad fact of it is it got more views than any of my other videos. And a lot of people subscribed after watching this video. Weird, right? I know. It's kind of weird. So it puts you in this weird position. Because this video got views and my channel grew because of it. But it's not necessarily the kind of videos I want to make. Specifically a video with a clickbait title. I actually like the video. I think it's fun investigating the claim that the person talked about. But I don't want to make videos that are purposely only clickbait. However, the only gauge of what's going on on YouTube is your growth. Really. Are you growing or are you dying? Are people watching your videos or are they not? If I made 50 videos about auto chess and nobody watched them, well, I might like auto chess a lot, but they might not be the best videos for me to make. Then again, if I make 50 videos with very clickbaity titles and everyone hates them, that's also something I don't want to make. So you're put in a weird position as a, a new creator on YouTube. You're put in this position of trying to figure out what your voice is, what you want your channel to be, and how do you get people to look at it? That's, I think, where we are. And I guess my big thought with this is I get why people make clickbaity titles. I get why you see titles of videos that are the 10 best ways to farm money in Destiny 2 legendary glitch. I get why they make it because I bet that video gets so many more clicks than a video without it. Now, again, I want to make more thoughtful content than that. That's not my goal as this channel. And after I made the video, I thought, hmm, I wonder what this is going to do. Wow, it popped off. A lot of people saw it. It's not going to change my opinion of what I want to make for this channel and the things I want to talk about. I do want to talk about stuff like that, but I don't want to make a video that is intentionally misleading. However, I could see people easily getting sucked into it. In fact, I could see making my channel much bigger, much faster by doing something like that. So I guess where I end up is I want to make better content than that. But I also recognize as a small creator, you have to make something people are going to click on. But you got to do it with some integrity. That video doesn't have as much integrity, I guess, as I would like. Is integrity even the right word? I don't know. But th those are my thoughts on the clickbait video I made and the fact that it worked. I think if you want to take some tips from it, if you know what people are going to be searching for and also what might get people talking, because that was one of the biggest things. Your video keeps getting pushed through YouTube's algorithm if people are on there talking, even if they're disliking it. Even if they're down, even if they're clicking dislike and leaving a comment that says you suck, more people see it than a video that they don't care about. More people see it than a video about me asking if Bioware is dead, which by the way, I think is a good video. Some of my favorite videos don't have the most views. Why The Last of Us Part 2 One Game of the Year is probably one of my favorite videos. Nintendo Ninjas, another one of my favorite videos that I've made. Again, this is all still very early. Or one where I'm just given a love fest on Ghost of Tsushima. Easily one of my favorite videos because I love Ghost of Tsushima. But it's only got 80 views. But a video where I'm going, did Cyberpunk get delayed? Let's look into it. Oh boy, that gets a lot of views. I hope you enjoyed the video today, me talking a little bit about clickbait about why people do it, which is it works, and what I think is gonna happen with my channel moving forward, which is I'm gonna continue to make videos that I hope people click on, but I do wanna make more thoughtful videos, and I don't wanna make a video where someone clicks it and thinks, this sucks. I hope you enjoyed this video, this little deep dive into clickbait. Again, I'm Jake, your content cowboy. Leave a like, leave a comment, heck, leave a dislike. People are gonna see it. All I want is a reaction, baby. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I'll talk to you next time. Mwah!